On April 6, 1974, ABBA was catapulted into worldwide fame after winning the Eurovision Song Contest in Brighton, England. And 50 years later, the love for them is even stronger still, with celebrations taking place all across the world. From Mamma Mia and Mamma Mia The Party, to the ABBA Museum and ABBA Voyage, all of the official sites marks the anniversary in some way, as well as multiple pop-up celebrations across the globe. I was lucky enough to attend quite a few of these, so here's my experience of the big 50th anniversary weekend. Like all of our trips, we began with a long coach journey to the airport. Gary Davis on BBC Radio 2 had promised huge ABBA news, so we listened to his show on the way, hoping we wouldn't miss the announcement. Of course, it turns out we needn't have worried. It was revealed to be a poll to find out the UK's favourite ABBA song. Again. Say it! Is that it? Nevertheless, our flight soon took off and before long we were in London and on our way to see Mamma Mia. This was on April 5th, the day before the Waterloo anniversary. Mamma Mia actually opened on Waterloo's 25th anniversary and now is 25 itself. We also wanted to meet Tobias and Stevie, winners of I Have a Dream. We got to meet Tobias and get his autograph, sadly Stevie didn't come out. All over the city with these posters promoting Voyage and it was fun to try and collect them across the weekend. We managed to get photos with all of them except Agneta who we only saw once on the opposite side of the tube tracks. On the morning of the anniversary itself it felt like all of London was celebrating ABBA. We went to Waterloo Station where there was a replica of Benny's piano playing the song. Also lots of promotional stuff for Mamma Mia and Voyage, as well as a very sweet and funny message to the band. Finally the big event had arrived, we put our ABBA shirts back on and headed to the ABBA Arena for our second visit to Voyage. I always get butterflies whenever I see the arena coming into view. I still can't believe that Abba not only came back, but that they did this. It's such an incredible building as well, it's really really cool, I love the lighting and the design of it. Of course, no visit to Voyage is complete without browsing the merchandise shop, which I've spent far too much money in. Then it was time for the obligatory photos outside before we headed in to meet up with our friend Chris. Then of course showtime came, uh, we had really good seats, there's no such thing as a bad view in the Abra Arena so that was amazing. If you haven't been to the show yet, I cannot recommend it enough, it's just magical. The arena is so beautiful, both inside and out, amazing fun. I also think the food is really good, it's a great atmosphere, many people dress up for the show. Like these amazing people here, awesome costumes. It's also really cool to get some nighttime photos with the arena lit up behind you. For the 50th anniversary we also got these really nice Waterloo pin badges. Then after a bit more sightseeing in London it was time to head home. We had a really amazing time, it was so lovely to be among like-minded people, all celebrating the incredible legacy of ABBA. And we don't have to wait too long to do it again, as we'll be back on May 27th for the second anniversary of Voyage. 
And of course, there'll be a video about that too. So thank you for watching and I hope to see you on the next one.